let's check out this resources option. So in here, you can associate all of the function libraries. You can just click this add button and pick the function library that you want associated with your test. And you can import many in here, but just be careful. They get called in a specific order so that it starts from the bottom and it goes up. So if the function library that's down here depends on a function library that's up here, then this one will fail. So you need to make sure you call them in the right order. So the most generic one first, then less generic and less generic and so on and so forth like that. Most of the time it doesn't give you issues, but sometimes it may. But also you can do this programmatically and that's something we will learn. Next, we come over to the environment tab. And here, you guys will see our environmental variables. There are two types. There are built in that hold all of these values. So let's check it out, guys. Let's see what these variables do for us. You guys see this IntelliSense come up? I can choose all of these variables. So this one right here is a built-in environmental variable. We can also do user-defined variables. These are variables that you add. So for example, okay, so I added a variable called application URL and it has a value of qtptutorial.net. Let me apply this, click okay. So here's the built-in and let's see a use of our environmental variable. You guys see how our environmental variable appeared in here now? Okay, let's go ahead and run this guys. See what happens. Check it out. So it displayed the operating system and now what is this one going to do? Well, it's going to use the value that we supplied into the environmental variable and it's going to utilize it for opening our application. Those environmental variables, guys, are a fantastic way to pass different values to your applications from outside of the UFT. So it's a very good way to configure your automated tests. And let me show you one really cool thing. I'm gonna stop this. You guys see how it's running on all rows? I bet I have multiple rows of data set up in global. Yeah, see it was gonna run two iterations because it's set up to run on all rows. So it's gonna run for row one and row two. Anyways, the very cool thing here is that you can do user defined variables and then you click export Yes, let's export into an XML, call this environmental variables. Let's go here and check those out. Check out how these environmental variables look. You can put these into an XML and you don't even need to add them manually. So if I want to add another environmental variable application, all I have to do is this. And now I can do google.com. So check it out. Remember, look, user defined variable. One, only one is here, right? Well, actually, I won't be able to show you that because I have to import the XML. But in the future, all we have to do is import the XML and then we could do environment.value application URL2 and now we can go to a different application. All configured externally. And if for whatever reason, our application URL is no longer qtpsoil.net, but we wanted to do it on the test environment, we can run it like this, test.qtpsoil.net on dev, we can run it on dev.qtpsoil.net. It's awesome, just like that.